Hey everybody, my name is Ryan Steele, and I'm here to discuss with you my main points from chapters 7 through 16. So, let's get straight into it. Uh, chapter 7 being on doors and windows. Uh, doors, and especially windows, are technologically complex building components that make a big energy as well as aesthetic contribution to the house. Carefully chosen windows can make a it can also make a significant contribution to the house as well. Uh, single pane windows, which were common. Uh, or which were common generation ago, have been replaced by a variety of new designs that incorporate multiple layers of insulating glass with reflective coatings, um, frames made from aluminum and vinyl clad wood, uh, extruded PVC and fiber glass have been proven to be more durable than frames made from plain wood and need just less maintenance. Uh, chapter 8 is talking about plumbing. Plumbing systems are often complex fixtures uh, and materials are more varied, and the potential for water and energy con uh, con conservation is greater than ever. Uh, plumbing is more than a network of pipes, strings, and fixtures. Uh, by minimizing wasted hot water, uh, energy bills are lower, and loads on an energy grid can be greatly reduced. Uh, chapter 9 is about uh, the HVAC system. Chapter 9 is all about the HVAC system, and it's one of the most important parts of your house that you can rely on to stay comfortable. These interrelated systems can be complex, expensive to install, and costly to operate, but green building can offer many different opportunities to simply to simplify and save. Uh, in a green built home, heating and cooling equipment can be smaller, less costly, and just less complicated. Uh, moving on to Chapter 10, talking about electricity. A green strategy for designing a residential system can be summed up in three words, use less power. Uh, because so much of the electricity we use is produced in plants that burn fossil fuels, oil green consumption uh, reduces uh, greenhouse gas emissions, and making the most of natural light to reduce the reliance on uh, electric lights not only saves money, but it also makes the house more cheerful, more alive, and just more comfortable. Moving on to chapter 11, talking about insulation. Insulation is the key to energy conservation, uh, the ultimate cornerstone of green building. Uh, poorly insulated houses can waste energy, and most heating and cooling equipment runs on fossil fuels, which are not sustainable over the long run. Uh, our, our values also depend on the climate. You will want higher R values if you live in North Dakota rather than Say you live in Alabama, you, you want, they don't want the same R values. Um, and well insulated and well scaled homes need effective ventilation. Moving on to chapter 12 is uh, siding and decking. Siding is the first line of weather defense and makes an important aesthetic contribution to the architectural design of the house. An essential element of siding is the drainage plane behind it, the weather barrier that keeps the keeps the water from penetrating the building and causing mold and decay. Uh, recent developments in house wrap include specialized products that provide a way for water to drain away from the building. House wrap can do a great great job of protecting sheathing, but not if it's torn or damaged in any way. Uh, moving on to chapter 13, which focuses on solar energy. Uh, passive solar Design covers the covers site and solar orientation, room layout, material selection, and window type and placement, all of which can substantially reduce heating and cooling costs. Solar panels, which can heat water, a non reason liquid, or even air, uh, are available in a number of styles and ranges. Uh, combining green building techniques with active solar systems can result in a uh, in a zero energy home, uh, one that produces as much energy as it consumes over the course of a year. Uh, moving on to chapter 14, talking about indoor air quality. Maintaining high indoor air quality is a component of green building and becomes more complex as a number of chemicals uh, are used in household furnish, uh, furnishings, products, and building material continues to expand. Air quality can actually be much lower inside inside uh, where we spend most of our time than it is outside. 
Uh, green building strategies for improving air quality include appropriate mechanical ventilation and air filtration. Uh, containments can be either chemical or biological nature. nature excuse me. Uh, mold spores, which are impossible to eliminate, can blossom into uh, growing con uh, colonies when moisture is not controlled. Moving on to chapter 15, talking about interior finishes. Interior finishes come as one of the last stages of construction. What remains is wall and floor finishes, paint and caulk, countertops and cabinets, and the many other details that give a house much of its aesthetic design. Uh, some, some common building products emit unpleasant and even dangerous fumes that can persist long after homeowners have moved in. Uh, building materials that hold up the rigors of family life are worth the investment and reducing the frequency of repairs or replacement and making interiors less troublesome to maintain. Uh, sustainability is as, is, 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 is as important as with other building materials, uh, floors and wall coverings from a variety of sources. Moving on to our last uh, chapter, chapter 16 is on landscaping. Landscaping for a green home involves a careful assignment of what's going on the site, a construction plan that minimizes the disruption to natural features and vegetation, and encouraging native plants that work in harmony with each other and with the house. Uh, the right vegetation cuts energy bills by buffering the house against winter winds, uh, blocking intense sunlight during the summer, like uh, deciduous trees, and increasing increasing uh, solar gain in the winter. Uh, heating and cooling bills also can be substantially lower with the right to green landscaping. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Uh, I really had fun this semester, and I hope that uh, hope that y'all did too. I really learned a lot, and uh, can't wait to see the rest of uh, everybody else's uh, presentation. Thanks.